Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connect on PGATour.com, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players through Facebook and Twitter and PGATour.com. Our guest this week, one of the exciting young players on the PGA Tour in his first full season, coming off his best finish of the season, a tie for fourth at Bay Hill last week. We say hello to Bud Cauley, who joins us from the Media Center at Redstone Golf Club, site of this week's Shell Houston Open. Bud, welcome. Thanks for the time. Nice playing with that tie for fourth last week. What was it like, the experience of being in Arnold Palmer's event for the first time? Uh, yeah, it was great. You know, I had uh, played a little golf there in, in high school, some junior golf tournaments. So. Never quite seen it in that kind of condition before, but um, you know it was, it was a lot of fun. It was fun to play well and hoping to bring it over to this week. Now, for those who don't know Bud's story, he turned professional prior to the U.S. Open last year and in eight starts earned enough money as a non-member to bypass Q School and earn his PGA Tour card, something only seven players in the history of the game including Tiger Woods, have done. And obviously, that's uh, the nature of a lot of the questions here this week. We'll jump right in. Here's one through Facebook. It comes from Tommy Cardle. He says uh, he loves watching you play, bud, and wants to know how the transition from college golf to the tour was and what's been the hardest part of the switch. Um, you know, there's obviously a little bit more travel, but it's a little bit easier, too, not having to, to worry about school, just being able to focus full-time on golf. So. You know, really, I, I've said this to a lot of people that, it, you know, there's really not a whole lot different. You know, it's still golf. It's your golf game. And, you know, the things you need to work on really don't change depending on, you know, whether it's a college or professionally. So, you know, I've really just try to, you know, disassociate what it's for and just you keep on getting better. And here's another one that came through Facebook for Bud Cauley. It's from Savane Chopra. He says, you're five foot seven, 150 pounds. How do you manage to have a driving average of 294 yards because he thinks it's amazing. How do you do it, bud? <laughs> you know, I really just uh, focus on trying to hit the ball solid. Um, you know, if you swing out of your shoes and miss hit it, it's you know, not going to go nearly as far as if you just you know make solid contact. So that's what I try and, and focus on. Well, our next question might address some of Bud Cauley's uh, surprising power. It comes via Twitter from at Tide Rolls 86. We knew that was coming for the former Alabama All-American. He says, Bud, how much time do you spend in the gym each week? And do you focus more on flexibility or strength? It's a good question. Uh, yeah, it's a great question. I, you know, you, you have to have both. Um, you know, on an off week, I'll probably, I'll spend about five days in the gym. Uh, during a tournament, it's going to be three or four. And, um, you know, you have to do both. You know, during the season, I don't lift quite as much weight. It's more cardio and stretching. But um, you definitely have to, you know, do some weightlifting because, you know, a lot of the weeks I hear the rust pretty thick, so you got to be able to get out of it. Well, maybe Bud Cauley gets some of that drive and his toughness from both uh, his grandfather and his dad, who were both former U.S. Navy veterans. And uh, that's uh, the topic of our next question through the tour report from Chim Richaltz. He says, Bud, your father looks like an absolute monster on TV. Doesn't appear to be the golfing type. Is he any good? at golf. Now we introduced you to the game when you were what five years old bud? When I was six actually. So I, I started playing when I was six and uh, he, he played a little bit um, back then but really when I started playing he um, he quit and would just kind of come out and, and hang out with me and, and carry my back so he doesn't play any anymore so I don't I don't know how, how well he'd do out there on the golf course. And as we've seen from your great performances late last year Father Bill gets pretty worked up on the golf course when he's following you right? Yeah, he, um, he gets a little excited out there, so l luckily I can stay a little more uh, level key than he does. <laughs> well, Bud Cauley's had a terrific Florida swing in his first full season on the PGA Tour. A tied for fourth at Bay Hills, we mentioned, tied for 16th the week before at the Transitions. And our next question about that event comes through Facebook from Patrick Carey. He said he watched you in the final round at Tampa there, but great player, and he's interested in knowing what insight you've been able to obtain from utilizing veteran caddy Tony Navarro. There's a lot of wisdom on the bag there for you, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. It, you know, it's been, uh, it's been great having Tony on the bag the last couple of weeks. He has obviously been, you know, in, in every tournament, every, you know, position or major championship, whatever it is. So he has a lot of experience and, you know, I love just talking to him when we're on the course, whether it's club selection or, you know, club off the tees or, you know, our game plan for the golf course. So he's, He's helped me a lot these last two weeks, and I'm just trying to learn as much as I can from him. 
One final question for three-time All-American at the University of Alabama, Bud Cawley. And it comes through the tour report from Morgan Bell. What are your thoughts on Nick Saban's contract renewal, Morgan says. Will Alabama win another national championship this year? Now, the coach was already signed through 2018, Bud. Did they have to go tack on another two years to 2020? <laughs> I think as long as he wants to stay, he should stay. Um, you know, it's awesome. He's done a, you know, obviously an awesome job with the football program. You know, national championships two out of the last three years. So, I'm sure I'm not alone in saying it. As long as he wants to stay, he's more than welcome. Roll Tide, but Carly looking for his own success this week in the Houston. Follow him, by the way, on Twitter at Bud Carly. Good luck at Redstone, Bud. Thanks for connecting with us. All right, thanks for having me.